to be up here on the Hill. Jake. Sunland Serfati on the Hill. Thank you. Joining me now is Democratic Congressman Steny Hoyer of Maryland. He is the House Minority Whip. Congressman, thanks so much uh, for being here. Um, last night, House Democrats were chanting, no bill, no break. It seemed to suggest that you guys were not going to take the 4th of July recess. You would continue protesting on the floor of the House until you got your vote. What happened? Well, the, ha the House left, uh, as you know, notwithstanding the fact that they had uh, two and a half days left to go to do some work, they left. Now, they will argue we didn't let them do their work. What happened was uh, we asked for a bill to be put on the floor, two bills, supported by, by 85 to 90 percent of the American public, and they refused to do so. Uh, and uh, I think we won the issue in what we were doing in this particular instance, uh, and that was focus the public's attention on the in unwillingness of the uh, Republican majority to respond to the epidemic of gun violence that is occurring across our country, most recently, of course, in Orlando, but even more re recently than that, mm -hmm. in individual shootings that we see throughout our country. So uh, yeah. uh, we're going to continue to raise the consciousness of the American public, uh, to raise the focus uh, of the Americans who believe so strongly that we need to pass legislation which will uh, prevent people on a terrorist list from buying guns and will have an enhanced background checks. Congressman, yeah. I remember when you were House Majority Leader. Democrats controlled the White House, the House, the Senate, the first two years of the Obama administration. During that time, there were mass shootings in Binghamton, New York, Huntsville, Alabama, Manchester, Connecticut. Why didn't you act then? Well, the problem was we couldn't get it through the Senate because the Republicans would not uh, uh, give us 60 votes, uh, which is the same thing that's happening right now in the United States Senate. But, of course, the Republicans are in control, but they only needed 40 votes. They had 40 votes, and they stopped us from doing that. Uh, the last time, of course, that we did do that was in 1994, as you know, when we passed the assault weapon bill. Unfortunately, that lapsed in 2004. The Republicans uh, were in charge of the Congress, and they let it lapse and would not allow legislation on the floor to continue right, but, it. So, but the, during the period I'm talking about, I understand what you're saying. There were more saying. Senate Democrats then than there are now. But let me move on to another question. But House there were Speaker, not 60. That's my point. House Speaker Paul Ryan held up a fundraising letter this morning, one that Democrats sent out in response to the sit-in and the Republican refusal to allow a vote on gun control. His argument that this is a political stunt and his proof you're trying to fundraise off the issue. What uh, do you say to that? Well, uh, you know, the reality is that both parties try to raise funds from people who, who support them on the issues. Uh, but this, as uh, you just uh, quoted the leader, is saying uh, was not a political stunt. There's great conviction on this issue, great conviction throughout the country, and the overwhelming majority of American people believe that what we were raising last night is something with which they agree and with which they think the Congress ought to deal and act and make their communities, their schools, their theaters, uh, their restaurants, uh, uh, their neighborhoods safer. Uh, so this is not a, a, about, it's about politics in the small sense. It's about an issue of great importance to the American people. Uh, we want the House to act on it. Uh, clearly, uh, Mr. Ryan, the Speaker of the House, who has said he wants to have an open, transparent House dealing with the important issues. Uh, when we put an amendment on a bill which said you can't discriminate against LGBT, the majority of Republicans voted against it because it did not allow dis discrimination. Uh, now, mm -hmm. uh, Paul Ryan can try to divert the attention from his inaction and the majority's unwillingness to put a bill on the floor that has the overwhelming support of the American public, uh, but the public's not going to be diverted, and yeah. we're not going to uh, uh, rest. Uh, we're not on the floor, but we're going to be in the neighborhoods, we're going to be in our districts, uh, we're going to be around the country urging people to engage, contact their members of Congress, and continue mm -hmm. to demand that an issue of critical importance uh, to the safety of our communities be put on the floor and let us vote on it. Congressman uh, Steny Hoyer, appreciate it. Thank you so you much, bet. sir. Thanks.